Hey, what's up guys? Kane here with XBLA fans, and I'm going to be giving you a quick taste of V-A-L-A, -A, or as I'm going to affectionately call it, Vicious Attack Llama Apocalypse. Um, yeah, let's, let's eliminate you on this game. That should be at least worth a retweet from the dev with how bad that pun was. Uh, something you're going to notice right away is they have what they consider to be hard and then casual. They recommended hard, um... I've been playing the game a little bit more on casual and actually enjoying it more there. I don't know why, but I felt like I was getting better loot drops. Uh, though that didn't seem to be the case when I was recording this video. It actually took me a little bit to get some weapon diversity. But as you play the game, you're going to be piloting, like, uh, basically these mechs. And you pick up different weapons, and as you progress through the game, uh, you can unlock various things. Very simple concept right there. But uh, the gist of the game is you're going to be attacked by tons and tons and tons of llamas. And some of the levels, you just have to go around killing all the llamas. Other levels, you need to find their hideouts and kind of destroy those to keep them from, like, continually spawning. Uh, as you kill them, they drop batteries, which will be whatever color you decided to make your mech. Uh, you can get different weapons and different weapon pickups. They, uh, they range from, you know, highly useful to kind of crap. Uh, that pistol there right now is absolute Sound crap, to be honest. Uh, it's one of the guns you will start the game with. You won't start with the machine gun you see uh, me starting here. Because I have loaded into District 2. Because I wanted to get you guys a little bit more diversity on the enemy types. Just so you could see some different things. Uh, like right now I have a machine gun and a cluster bomb. I'm going to pick up the contra gun in a second and show you. Uh, that's one that I would consider pretty crap. Uh, and one nice thing about the game is it does show you there's little circles underneath the weapons. Uh, it kind of highlights you what rank that weapon is in that kind of like weapon class in a sense. So like the machine gun I believe is a like weapon 2 class, you know, type thing. The shotgun being a better version of that eventually that you'll unlock. Um, as you continue to do these like kind of sub challenges, uh, like right now, I believe I need to be, you know, wetting the screen from uh, a fire hydrant. Uh, some of the other ones are a little more simple than that, like just kill llamas. Every once in a while, you'll get one that is completely like dependent on, you know, having an almost flawless run. Uh, they pop up on the screen periodically just to remind you to make sure you're doing it. But as you can see, here's the contra gun. Um, it's not very strong. Uh, this is one thing I noticed in particular when I was playing on hard, is it felt like a lot of the guns I had were like this, or pistol, and they're highly ineffective. Uh, when you get something like the ice beam or whatnot, you know, it's, it's pretty legit. Uh, one thing I've noticed is I do pretty well if I can get a single kind of, I don't know, like slow reloading gun, you know, like that will just last for a while, uh, the water, the, the freeze beam, even the machine gun, to be honest. Just something that I can continually fire to kind of, like, thin out the herd. And then if I can get, like, a damage gun on the other side, that's pretty legit. Uh, I've got the taser, I think, now, and that thing's pretty strong. But as you play the game, you continue to progress through things. This is an Xbox Play Anywhere title. It is $14.99, out from Rogue Code. Um, I've been enjoying it a lot, actually, to be honest. So there is a campaign. There's eventually an endless mode. Um, it is a, you know, top-down twin-stick shooter uh, with some roguelike light. I don't even know how to say that. Either did the dev, and I, I respect you for that, dev. He put both of them there. I'm like, I don't remember which one's correct. I always have to look it up on Wikipedia. Because I'm like, I swear everyone just uses those terms interchangeably, even though I think there is technically a correct version. Um, dozens, dozens of different weapons. You know, you can play uh, one to four local couch co-op if you want. Uh, from a friend who was playing it co-op, he said it's actually really great in that way. Um, as you can see right here, I have the shield. There's also this cool ground pound, as well as a dash. So your mech does have some cool little abilities. Uh, those will use battery as you continue to do them. Uh, if you leave the shield on, you'll deplete your battery pretty quickly, which is always kind of a bummer. But, um, yeah, there's uh, different enemy types. You know, you've got these tiny goats that are pretty quick to just take out. It doesn't take much effort. you got some slightly, or not goats, llamas. Llamas, Kane. 
I don't remember why the llamas are evil in this. I do know that there are llama camel hybrids uh, for whatever reason, and they're just evil too. But like, I don't know. To me, llamas are cool. Emperor Cusco, all that type of stuff. Yeah, I I'm all for the Emperor's New Groove. It's uh, it's legit, you know. But like, we're just killing llamas. I, I don't know why. I think we're a faceless evil corporation. <laughs> why i'm team llama on this one uh but yeah no like uh, so when you do complete one of your uh you know challenges when you get to the next sector uh you will be procced a new one so like now i just have to kill challenge. llamas that's a much easier one than some of these uh every once in a while you'll get one that's a little funky a little harder to do I'm going to try to show you guys a good bit of the gameplay here. Uh, this is all from District 2 on casual. Uh, you'll notice I don't take nearly as much damage as I would be if I was playing this on the, uh, the hardcore difficulty or whatnot. I did stream it on that difficulty last night. Uh, if you guys would like to check that out, there is a VOD on twitch.tv slash XBLA fans. Uh, you should be able to find that really easily. But, uh, yeah, as you just kill llamas, you know, occasionally you'll get new drops from, uh, Lamazon headquarters. So, uh, just drone in packages for you. It's the future, man. <laughs> it's the future. Like, I love the way that they just kind of, like, steal the Amazon logo. <laughs> it's just, it's pretty fantastic. So, there's a lot of weapon variety. I would say, uh, some of them are pretty ineffective. <laughs> so that's the only complaint I've had really is the fact that like I, I feel like in general some of these weapons are borderline garbage uh, by comparison to others so it's just kind of like just do you get a good one it would have been nice to see a way to like you know fix that in a sense you know not not like always giving you good weapons but like when you get something crappy there's some way to still use it in some way um, but yeah, but I've, I've been enjoying this. Uh, it is play anywhere. If you do want to play it on uh, PC, you can use a controller, you can use a keyboard or mouse. Uh, definitely pretty cool. Uh, the unlocks are persistent, which is good. You know, anytime you play one of these roguelike games, you know, you want to be able to uh, accomplish something, even if you weren't able to beat the levels, which is obviously really, really nice. Um, I would say, like, this. I did not like. Uh, there's a couple times where the game tries to do some different things. I found the controls on this segment here just to be atrociously bad. Um, so I wanted to include it just to give you guys a little bit of a warning that there are a couple segments like this that are just a little bit funky. Um, but in general, it's it's rather solid game. I've had a lot of fun with it. Um, there's a way to turn off blood and gore. There's a way to turn off puns. Which, believe it or not, you probably will want to do. <laughs> like, the game gets a little little crazy at times with it. So, uh, one thing you'll notice is some of these llamas have, like, a, a megaphone on them. If you bump into one, he kind of alerts everyone. Uh, so, like, for that one right there, I need to alert all the goats that I hear without killing one. It's a really effective way to do that. Now, there are also some equipment that you can drop. Uh, this is literally the first one I got in this playthrough, and it's a sentry turret around level 8. So they're not super frequent at times, you know, it's, uh, it's obviously a little bit random, but you didn't have much luck finding one here. Uh, I would say, like, once you get going, like, you feel pretty strong. There's some crazy stuff you can do. Uh, every once in a while, you'll bump into terrain and have a harder time, you know, getting around stuff. Uh, most things are destructible. Sometimes you gotta just push cars out of the way. Uh, even then, you can blow up cars, kill uh, llamas with them. You know, there's various other different things you can do. As you play the game, there's perks you'll occasionally unlock, uh, either from drones or just from beating a level, and they'll uh, give you an opportunity to unlock them. So, there's no health packs. You're gonna have to kind of just not die while you play. Uh, but I've really been enjoying this game. I would recommend taking a look at it. Uh, again, this is Vicious Attack Llama Apocalypse from Rogue Code. It's $14.99 out on Xbox One now. Uh, definitely worth a look. And please do uh, subscribe, guys. It helps us out a ton. 
Uh, you can hit that bell if you want to be able to be notified every time we post time a new quick taste and whatnot. Like uh, we also have some other cool videos coming out for you guys soon, so definitely check those out. Anyways, guys, thank you so much, and later.